Hey guys, and welcome back to the Indie Spotlight here on the Franz Productions YouTube channel. If you're new to this series, this is where I like to take a look at independent movies and talk about all the amazing indie filmmakers out there to help shine a spotlight on their talent. Today, I want to talk about Scotty Dune's uh, short film, The Man with the Standard Notch Lapel. The man with the standard notch lapel follows a strange man played by Jack Lettington who shows up one night at these three friends apartment asking for a place to stay. The friends reluctantly let him in, but doesn't take long for things to start going horribly wrong for them. Now I know with a lot of the indie spotlights I like to go in and kind of give you an overview of the plot. But for the man with the standard notch lapel, I really don't think it would do that film justice to give you any spoilers on the plot. So I just highly recommend watching it for yourself. Your enjoyment does really depend on, you know, walking into this film with no knowledge of what's going to happen. Instead, here's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about Scotty's just overall dedication to bringing this film to life. Um, when I was reading through the comments on it to see what people think, I actually went ahead and saw where Scotty responded to someone that was giving him a little bit of criticism and he explained where the original idea for the short film actually started as a concept for a feature film. While he was studying, um, doing an independent study on cinematic lighting at college, he was given this assignment and he ended up taking aspects of that feature film and writing some scenes around that to do the short film, The Man with the Standard Notch Lapel. Now, Scotty was able to put this short film together working with only four actors, one location, and no crew, okay? Scotty was the production team. This means that he wrote the script, he directed it, he was responsible for cinematography, Obviously, he was responsible for lighting. He was responsible for set design. And when it was all said and done, he was responsible for editing. And it took him a mere 12 hours to make the short film. Now, if you are an independent filmmaker and maybe you've been putting off working on your first short film because, oh, well, I don't have the right help. You know, I don't have, you know, the budget. You know, I gotta wait for things to fall into place. Scotty made the man with the standard notch lapel in 12 hours by himself with just a small cast of four actors. And here's the real icing on the cake. So you take this 12 hour long project that has a total of five people working on it, only one of them being crew, and it made it into a film festival. Okay, it actually was a official selection to a film festival and he made this originally as just part of a school project. So I really want to give Scotty Dunes a lot of credit. Keep doing what you're doing. This is a fantastic start in your filmmaking journey. Um, I, I could be wrong. You might have worked on some other stuff in the past, but this is from what I've seen. I know that you're young and like me, you got a huge future ahead of you and you really got this creative vision and a knack for storytelling and visual composition with the cinematography. And I think that as independent filmmakers, we have a lot to learn and appreciate from Scotty. There's not many of us that can say that we were able to solely put together on a one man band crew uh, with just a couple actors a short film that was selected for a film festival. So yeah, uh, that's really about all I want to say about the man with the standard notch lapel. Um, if you're an indie filmmaker, I highly recommend you go ahead and give this a watch. I'm going to link the video down in the description of this as I normally do for the indie spotlight. So please go down there, watch it, show Scotty some love. If you like this content and you want to see even more indie filmmaking videos, make sure that you subscribe and that you turn that bell on for notifications and also drop a like. It lets me know that you love seeing these indie spotlights and you want me to continue making them. And if you're an independent filmmaker and you want me to watch your movie and discuss it on the Franz Productions channel, 
Uh, like always, go down into the comments. Uh, let me know what the name of your film is and where I can watch it. And I'll add that to my watch list to discuss in a future video. But anyway, that's all I have time for today. Until next time, that's a wrap.